beautyinthestamper.blogspot.com Hi beauties, I wanted to show you my guest bedroom, aka the stamp room, just to show you that it doesn't take a lot of space to have a nice craft room. My husband helped me set this up and I really appreciate it. Those are some of my punches and I've got the um, uh, the holders here at Ikea and then they come with these little uh, things that come off these little holders and I keep some ribbon in there I usually keep my uh, camera in there uh, my beauty and the stamper um, bats punch and then some of my other punches as well and then I have um, these little guys from Ikea which can help hold other things um, like this little galvanized uh, cup here uh, I also have one of these that was also at Ikea that hold all my ribbon for me and keep that organized and then over here I just have a um, a tub which is where I keep all my paper so I've got all the colors here I don't see, know if you can see that or not but when we um, what I do when I'm stamping I just pull out the color that I need I've got the whole eight and a half by eleven here and then in here I've got little strips um, scrap paper and that way I know exactly what color is in there uh, I got this little guy from Michaels here um, and in here I have some of my blocks you'll see and then my next section is um, different types of glue my snail my two-way pen my dimensionals and then in the next section I've got some embellishments that's where I keep all my fun embellishments here the new candy dots Ooh, I love them and then down here I don't really have anything in there as of yet uh, let's see I do have some of my um, where did it go oh um, these little guys they're always fun to play with and then I've got some my digital studio in there as well um, next to that I have my carousel that holds my ink pads I don't have all of them as you can tell um, and then I always make sure I get the inks to go with the ink pads um, and then here I've got my uh, hand sanitizer which I take some of my ink and put them in and then I turn those into alcohol inks um, so I've got a few of those in there I also keep some of my um, dazzling detail the diamonds in there just a lot of fun stuff down here I keep my daubers just so they're right next to me this is where I stamp and then if I look back here I've got um, this little camera holder I hold my camera it goes right in here so it's facing down so you guys can see when I stamp uh, my brother made this for me and it is the best thing as you guys can tell um, since he's made it I've been making more videos so I found this little cubby here at a garage sale I think it is a towel rack and I've turned it upside down um, so in these three little cubbies I've got here I've got my stamp and mist my stamp and scrub and then I have baby wipes in here uh, I come to the center and I used to have my stamp and majig in here um, just things that they're really right where I want them but I've got the um, polymer uh, stamps in here the dude you're welcome is in here um, just things that are kind of not something that Stampin' Up! does every day but over here I've got the distressing tool and my pierce packs and it's all in one I keep it all in one so when I need them I know exactly where they are also right in here I make sure to keep my operation right home stamp along with my name stamp because uh, I want to make sure I stamp all my cards uh, up here I've got the different punches the ones that the newer ones that lay flat so I just have them sitting here um, got a couple other things up here and then I've got in this little tin uh, I found this I believe it may have been Hobby Lobby 
but I go ahead and keep all of my um, tools that I need in here. My paper snips, a ruler, and here's my stamp and my jig uh, that I keep in there now. And then I come down here and I've got some washi tape, my adhesive remover. Uh, I keep my stampin' pens in here. I used to have the whole box, um, but you know, it's better to lay them flat, so I just gone ahead and put them in there, and then I have my gel pen, anything I might need real quick. Uh, in here I've got just some random um, ribbon that I did a, pay, a ribbon share with, and then some Tombow glue, another two-way glue stick. Uh, my color coach, I pull that out all the time. And then down here, we've got the little stampin' spots in different colors. And I come right over here, and I've got my stampin' trimmer, and that sits on top of my, um, my stampin' score. There's my di diagonal plate. Uh, let's see, underneath there, I've got the, um, oh, I forgot the name of this guy, but that guy. <laughs> What is that called? I don't know exactly. I forgot the name of it, but um, embossing maybe? Uh, then I come in here and I've got, um, these are a little bit bigger than 12 by 12, so I keep my papers, my um, design of series paper in there. In here, along with some scraps and the little packs, all the different papers you can see. Um, then I come over here, this is an old, uh, DVD case and I've got my um, uh, wood stamps in here, the newer wood stamps. Um, I've done a lot of the uh, little salutations. I've kind of put them together so I did put my teeny tiny wishes wood here with it. Um, and then I come over here and this is a CD case. I wanted to just show you the side. It's just a CD case that I found at a garage sale. So um, it's got all my stamps in there. Uh, it's not very clear now, is it? But uh, you can see. And then I come down here, um, and it's got my Keurig, uh, which holds, remember Flock? I still have Flock. <laughs> and then my um, embossing powders. They just fit perfectly. I don't have a lot, but if I did, you just spin them around and be able to find whatever color you want. Um, this little guy down here, I found that at a garage sale, but haven't really put anything in it yet. Coming back over here, this is a little section where I have my embossing. I just have the little pal there, some embossing powders. And then when I do classes, I bring, um, I'll set the uh, stuff in there for it. And then I have some little wooden boxes where I put my other um, stamp sets. So I've got just a bunch of stamp sets in here. Down here in one of these plastic cases is where I have all my Big Shot stuff. So I've got my um, embossing, uh, all kinds of fun stuff in here. My letterpress plates. And then uh, I just come over here and there's my Big Shot. And then down here we've got just different cards that I've made. Um, got a couple layers of those. Who doesn't need an extension cord? And then we've got the embossed heat guns. So this is what we've got. And then over here I've got my Cricut and I have a large paper cutter. But you know since I got my Stampin' Trimmer I really haven't used much of it. I've got my little um, sewing machine here and then a couple of Cricut um, fonts and uh, my brand new Stampin' Up catalogs here and then I've got just uh, some of these little tubs from the dollar store and I've got my sharpies in there some um, various pens for writing on uh, clothing just all kinds of stuff those are my little sponges I cut them into quarters and I use them they just keep them there then I've got some shoes recently and uh, put some designer series paper on it. And this is a box that is just for Operation Right Home, which I told you about earlier. So when I pull that out, 
let's see here. It's got all different cards in there that I'll be sending out. So as I make those, I just stick them in there. And then I've got one that has some uh, birthday party paper. That's got my birthday cards in it. And then this has some Christmas paper, and I've got my Christmas cards in there. So those are ones that I'm going to be sending out. I just wanted to show you, um, this is my little closet here. And... Uh, I've got one of those shoe hangers over the door where I keep all kinds of fun stuff. Um, these little guys, um, different papers that I use, buttons, all, and all my wheels are down here. Um, and then some, some other inks as well. When we come in here, this isn't really much, but I wanted to show you um, just this area here in here I keep all my stamp and supplies the you know all the old catalogs look at all those old catalogs and some other stamp and stuff order forms and that kind of stuff then in here um, this came from uh, their view binders they were view binders and I got that at Costco you know they stick the meats and stuff in there well, I got this at Costco and I just use it whenever I want to do some of those shimmer mists or anything like that. I keep those in here. And you can see it's already been used <laughs> multiple times. I got this guy. I haven't used it yet, but I was thinking about putting my um, embossing on here or my polymer stamps and just hooking them on there and then I can spin it around. This is my husband's side of the closet, just right there, which has his comic books and some other beds, linen when guests come over. Here is another um, DVD rack that I'll be using. I just need to fill it, so that'll be coming soon. Um, nothing really up here, just uh, I like to be organized, so I always, if I find something at a garage sale or um, on sale, I make sure I use it. This is the Scrabble, but this is not to play with. This is so I can have the letters so I can make things. Um, I've got just some baskets with easels on there if I want to show off something during a class. And my glue gun. Everybody has to have a glue gun. And then my card holder. So I wanted to show you again just that little tiny area. You don't have to have a big, huge um, room to do your stamping in. I mean, if we just take a real quick look around, there's the bed, and then we've got a wall. I'm gonna, there I am in the mirror. Uh, there's the door. That's just real quick. There's my Cricut area again. And we're back around already. So, as you can see, it's not a very big space at all, but I definitely love it, and it works for me. And, uh, Hope you like it and make a great stamping space for yourself. For more tips and techniques, visit beautythestamper.blogspot.com.